I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Hello friends. In this series, we learn about solving differential equation with constant coefficients. Let us dive into one such problem. Here we have the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 4 dy by dx minus 5y equal to e raised to 3x. Here onwards, we are going to use d for d by dx d square for d square by dx square and similarly a d cube for d cube by dx cube and so on. Let us now rewrite the differential equation in terms of d. Then we have d square by dx square is d square into y plus 4 d by dx is 4 d into y minus 5 y equal to e raised to 3x. Taking y common then we get d square plus 4d minus 5 into y equal to e raised to 3x. Now we need to find the value of y. Y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d square plus 4d minus 5 equal to e raised to 3x. For finding the auxiliary equation, we only need to substitute a variable instead of d. Here we are using m, then we get the auxiliary equation as m square plus 4m minus 5 equal to 0. After finding the auxiliary equation, we need to find the roots of the equation m square plus 4m minus 5 equal to 0. Since m square plus 4m minus 5 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation, we can use the formula m is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4, c is equal to minus 5. Now we substitute the values of a, b and c in the formula. Then b is replacing with 4 plus or minus root of b square minus 4 into 1 into minus 5 by 2 into 1 which is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 into minus 5 plus 20 by 2 minus 4 plus or minus root of 36 by 2 minus 4 plus or minus root of 36 is 6 
by 2. Then 1 root is minus 4 plus 6 by 2 and another root is minus 4 minus 6 by 2. Now minus 4 plus 6 by 2 is 2 by 2 equal to 1. Minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10 by 2 equal to minus 5. So we get the roots as m is equal to 1 and m is equal to minus 5. Therefore, m square plus 4m minus 5 is converted into factors. We get the factors m plus 5 into m minus 1 equal to 0. which is equal to minus 5 and 1. Here we have the real and distinct roots. m is equal to minus 5 and m is equal to 1. Then to find the complementary function, we are going to use the formula c1 e raised to mx plus c2 e raised to mx. Let us now substitute the value of roots m equal to minus 5 and m equal to 1. In the formula, we get the complementary function as c1 e raised to minus 5x plus c2 e raised to 1x, that is c2 e raised to x. Now, we have finished the first part of the question. Now we need to find particular integral. Particular integral is equal to 1 by d square plus 4d minus 5 into e raised to 3x. Most important aspect to understand here is about choosing which method to follow depending upon the function in RHS. Here we have the exponential function e raised to 3x. When we have an exponential function on RHS, replace all the occurrence of d in denominator with the coefficient of x in the exponential function. Here the coefficient of e raised to 3x is 3. Replace d with 3. Then d square becomes 3 square plus 4d becomes 4 into 3 minus 5 into e raised to 3x. which is equal to 1 by 3 square is 9 plus 4 into 3 is 12 minus 5 e raised to 3x. Now 1 by 9 plus 12 is 21 minus 5 e raised to 3x which is equal to 1 by 16 e raised to 3x.
as i said earlier y is the sum of complementary function plus particular integral therefore complete solution is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral here complementary function is c1 e raised to minus 5x plus c2 e raised to x and particular integral is 1 by 16 e raised to 3x therefore the final result is y is equal to c1 e raised to minus 5x plus c2 e raised to x plus 1 by 16 e raised to 3x